see this is the figure so what am i writing i am writing vc so when you are writing vc your vc is equal to from maximum you subtract vm vm is only this portion so vm minus vc will give you this so let me write this it's v max minus vm so when you write v max minus vm from equation 1 this can be written as uh, v max minus v max minus v min divided by 2 and that is nothing but equal to v max plus v min divided by 2 this is your equation number 2 so from this so from this let us define now yes ah please tell me and this only this one now scroll down okay which one first equation second equation vc is ah, okay let me go what is vc this much is vc how do you get that you have an envelope how much you will get this is this is your vc so you have an envelope coming like this another envelope coming like this i want only vc so from maximum you are subtracting from the maximum value you are subtracting this let me draw it once again here this is my modulating sector on to this you are superimposing a carrier wave is it it so when you do this what are you getting you are getting an envelope like this for this envelope from here to here is your maximum amplitude and this small one here is your minimum amplitude now which is carrier this much is carrier so this is half of vc from here to here is peak and modulating signal voltage is only this much this is your vm now what am i writing vc is equal to v maximum from here to here minus vc v maximum is from here from this if you subtract want to get vc this is also vc even this is vc so v max minus vc and we have already written what is vc vc v max minus that vc is v max minus v minimum so this is what you are getting is it clear are you all clear this is very important for you to understand okay so now once you know these two relations uh, i want now the definition of m which can be written as vm by vc so from these two equations your vm was v max minus v min divided by v max plus v min i think this is your equation number 3 this is your equation number 3 it is a ratio of v max minus v min by v max this m is referred to as your modulation index this is your modulation this is the only method by which you can calculate this modulation index so 
So what happens if B min happens to be 0? What will you get? M is equal to Vm by Vc. So in equation 3, if V min is 0, what will you get here? What you get is V max minus V max which is equal to 1. And if you represent it in terms of percentage, this is equal to into 100. So it is 100% modulation. So when M is equal to 1, that means it is unity, then you achieve what is known as 100% modulation. You achieve what is known as 100% modulation. How will the graph look like? I will show them here. Let me draw them, you will understand. Then I will show you the figures. So when n is equal to 1, how does the graph look like? Let me look something like this. So V min is almost 0. So you get You can see this on the oscilloscope when you come to the labs. So, what you get is a beautiful figure like this. This is T, this is T. So, here M is equal to 1, almost 0 here. And it is equal to 100%. And look at this figure. When m is less than 1, we copy this. This is when m is equal to 1. When m is less than 1, this is the figure that you get. This is referred to when m is less than 1, what it means? When, when m is less than 1, it implies you have vm by vc. So vm is less than vc. So here, this is more. So this is known as under modulation. Let me just show you, then I'll come back. If m is greater than 1, it implies vm by vc is m. So it implies vm is greater than this, then it is under modulation. In this case, there is some loss of information. This is known as over modulation and this is known as under modulation. And this is the correct modulation. So this is how you define the three different types of modulation.